من مسیحی نیستم مسلمون نیستم بودایی نیستم زرتشتی نیستم یهودی نیستم بهایی نیستم من یک فیلمساز بیدینم اما با پسرم اومدیم در مورد یه دین فیلم بسازیم در مورد بهایت این دین 170 سال پیش در ایران به وجود اومده و در حال حاضر چند صد هزار بهایی در ایران زندگی میکنند و به خاطر اینکه بهاییان کشته میشن به زندان میرن شکنجه میشن و نمیتونن دانشگاه برن فقط و فقط برای اینکه بهاییان با این همه هنوز خیلی ها نمیدونن بهایی ها چجوری فکر میکنن که 170 ساله در ایران این طور مجازات میشن شاید ندونستن ماها کمک کرده که به اونا ظلم بیشتری بشه ما به این باغ که مرکز این دینه اومدیم تا از نزدیک با اون آشنا بشیم حالا هم برای اینکه این موضوع رو از دو زاویه ببینیم قراره من با دوربینم همه جنبه های منفی رو ببینم و پدرم با دوربینش همه جنبه های مثبت اینجا شهر حیفا در شمال اسرائیل و این مرقد باب کسی که بشارت داد آمدن بهاءالله رو Look at the leaves. We're all flowers of one garden and leaves of one tree. That's very interesting because each of the leaves is part of one whole. And the tree grows together. The leaves don't compete with each other, but they all strive to reach towards the light. They reach towards the sun. They are attracted to its warmth. And it's beautiful how all the leaves face the same direction. Each one is different, but together they make the beauty of the tree. A tree grows slowly. We don't expect it to grow fast. Over time, it develops fruit. It takes many years for a fruit tree to develop food, actually. But we're patient with the tree, because when it does give fruits, it's magical. And the more fruits that it has, it grows towards, it actually bends down to the ground. And it gives its fruits freely, year after year after year, expecting nothing in return. I want to be humble like these trees and firm and steadfast, rooted in the ground, but turning towards the sun, not living underground. As high as it can, it wants to reach the sun. <laughs> Children, we're gonna grow so many fruits and sometimes 
People are mean to us, but we just show them kindness. That's what we were created to do. So when someone throws a stone, what do we do? We give them our fruits. So if someone throws a stone, what do you do? You give them your fruits. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, drop them. And drop them. Whoop. Drop them. Children, we're going to grow so many fruits. And sometimes people are mean to us, but we just show them kindness. That's what we were created to do. So when someone throws a stone, what do we do? We give them our fruits. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. tree it's so humble the more its fruits abound it grows closer to the ground and shares its fruits that way but have you ever heard it say i am richer greater than you Just volunteering here at the Baha'i World Center. Uh, my name is Eona. I'm from Papua New Guinea. Uh, it's a neighboring country to Australia. Yeah, it's in the Pacific. I, I born into a Baha'i family. Yeah, actually, I'm a third generation. The Baha'is are more than 30 or 40,000 believers in Papua New Guinea. In 1972, as soon as when they recognize Baha'u'llah, then they become a Baha'i. The Baha'u'llah is the founder of the religion called the Baha'i faith. Baha'u'llah was born in Persia. It was my wish when I was like seven years old or six years old around that time. The first thing that really touched me is about looking at the posters about the World Center yeah. of the Baha'i Faith and see how the gardens. I was thinking if I grow up to like 18 or 19, I should try and apply to go to the World It really is one of my wish and desire to come here and serve. And when they accepted me, I just like, oh my God, you know, the dream come true. So I just cried.
با میگم اگه به جای این باغونه یه بازیگر حرفه‌ای آورده بودی که سینما رو میشناخت چه میدونم مثلا برادپی جورج کلونی یا شامپن بهش میخورد شامپن اون وقت هم اودینس بیشتر میشه مردم بیشتری میرفتن ببینن هم فیلم جهانی میشد من هم نوار نمیگرفتی بریزی دور بابا خودکار داریم؟ آره هم دیگه من به یک انسان فکر میکنم سینما میخواد انسان رو نشون بده و قصه های واقعی آدم رو من هنر پیشه لازم ندارم اگه اولین آدمی که از کنار دوربین رد میشه بهش عمیق نگاه بشه هم قصه خودشو داره هم مناسبه برای ساختن فیلم بعدی اصلا سینما اینجوری شروع نشد سینما اول راجب زندگی واقعی بود بعد آه. کم کم تبدیل شده به یک صنعت که مکدونالد تولید میکنه و کوکاکولا تولید میکنه و نمیدونم از اینجور چیزا من احتیاج به یه انسان واقعی دارم که روش تمرکز کنم از طریق تمرکز من میخوام بینش پیدا کنم نگاه پیدا کنم سینما توسعه نگاه آدمیه نه توسعه عینک آدم این ابزار که هی پیشرفت میکنه انگار عینک آدم بهتر میشه خب آره وسیعتر میبینی به لحاظ ظاهری اگه همین تکنولوژی نبود من الان از این عکس نگرفته بودم آخه اگر نگاه آدم فقط مهم بود که خب چرا فیلم میگیریم مثلا از اول فقط به یه چیز فکر کن نه به پلانایی که هی تخ 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 عوض میشه مردم ریموت کنترل دستشونه همجوری دارن کانال عوض میکنن یه مقدار تمرکز کن ببین چه اتفاقی تو ذهنت میفته خب این هایت ثانیه ده ثانیه بس دیگه حوصله آدم سعی میره بابا تا اینو من هم برای دوستان بذارم بگم من این مثلا این فیلم این باقون رو ساختم نگاه کنید چرا قشنگ یه صبح تا شب بیست تا نوار منو استفاده کرده داره چی نشون میده این باقبون فقط باقبونی نمیکنه ببین این داره یه جور عبادت میکنه یه جور مدیتیت میکنه داره تربیت میکنه رفتار باقبون رو داشته باشه با جامعه فرق یه دینی رو که مؤمنینش رو با باغبونی به گل شدن تبلیغ میکنه دراتون نمیاد اصلا این تو یه دفعه یک دو سه میگید من میکروفونمو تست کنم یک دو سه با احترام به تکنولوژی یک دو سه با احترام به تکنولوژی با من رفت چای میگیری ولش کن بیا یه دن سوجه خوب دیدم این بر بابا بودو بیا از دست میره ها من حتی بگم بودو بیا بابا 
تو برو برو من من میخوام این کاراکتر رو تموم کنم بیانگیه Are you a Baha'i? Yes. Were you born in a Baha'i family or you became a Baha'i? Uh, born in a Baha'i family and yeah. Why Baha'i? Why not Christian or... Um, well, like, Baha'is believe that all the religions like came consecutively, like they're progressive and they're all one. So like being a Baha'i is also like fulfilling what Jesus or Muhammad or Moses said. So I don't feel like I'm sectarian. I feel like... It's a whole. All the religions are one. Where are you from? California. What is your name? Ian. Do you want my last name? Yes. Do you need it? Ian Huang. What did you study? Um, I haven't finished college yet. What is your plan for future? Um, not really sure. I'm just going to go home and pursue uh, art, probably. Some kind of dancing or theater, or maybe something around there. Isn't the Baha'i faith against art and dance? Oh, no. Definitely not. As long as it's pure and, like, not something that triggers, like, our lower self. Just make sure it brings out the best in us. Um, I'm half Taiwanese, half American. I'm not sure where my mom's from. I think she's somewhere in the Swiss area. So I'm half white, half Taiwanese. Yeah. Well, my mom and my dad were both Baha'is, and I was very, um, I was raised with the teachings of like loving everybody, and um, we're all one, and we're all uh, equal. And so I never had the racial prejudice or um, religious prejudice in my heart. And so by really recognizing the faith and investigating it for myself, um, I learned how to love people more and see the best in them and see that the reasons for all of people's insecurities and the reasons for all the hatred in the world is because of people's lack of virtues or their lack of understanding. And they just push it on other people's. I think that's one of the main things that really helped me. There's no such thing about hell or fire. Heaven and hell are the condition of the human soul, you know? For example, if I'm here on this planet Earth, and if I did something that is wrong, that means that my soul is in the bad condition. It means that my soul is in the darkness. Or it's, it means that my soul is in the hell. You just think about your, your, your kids. You are a father, you are a parent. And if your son done something that is miserable or terrible to you, is it good for you to throw him into the fire?
to mark that new faith had come and the abrogation of the Islamic law, she removed her veil in front of everyone. And because of this, of course, she was um, accused of immorality. But the Bab supported her and he named her Tahre. You know, the Bab was martyred, but two years later, Tahre was sentenced to death. But one of the last things she said was, you can kill me as soon as you like, but you cannot stop the emancipation of women. You can kill me as soon as you like, but you cannot stop the emancipation of women. Abdul Baha was the eldest son of Baha'u'llah, and he was appointed the center of his covenant after Baha'u'llah's passing. He was the perfect example of the Baha'i life. He was like a perfect mirror of his father's teachings, and he was the interpreter of his father's words. At a very young age, he was banished from Iran with his family, and he shared in the sufferings of Baha'u'llah and he was imprisoned until the age of 64. But throughout that time, he was joyful because he was serving humanity. After Baha'u'llah passed away, Abdul Baha continued to spread his teachings of peace and of unity, uh, travel to the West, where he shared the message in Europe and in Egypt and in North America. Maybe I can share with you one of the things he said. He said, the imperfect unity with one another. Never become angry with one another. We should love the creatures for the sake of God and not for themselves, because humanity is not perfect. And each human being has imperfections. But we will become unhappy if we look at the people. But if we look at God and we love them for God, then we will love them and we will be kind with them for His sake because the world of God is the world of perfection and mercy. شده. بعد بهایت 170 سال پیش همه اون چیزای خوبی که تو بودیزم هست تو مسیحیت هست تو حرفای گاندی هست تو حرفای ماندلا هست همه رو داره مثلا 170 سال پیش به وجود اومده ولی با هیچ یک از قوانین حقوق بشر در تضاد نیست وقت با اینکه چند صد هزار تا بهایی تو ایران وجود داره خود من تو همین چند ماه پیش اصلا نمیدونستم بهایت چی میگه فکرشو بکن ما یه دین سلطلب تر داشتیم شاید برای اونقدر 
دنبال اتمی نمیرفت دنبال جنگ نبود شاید ماها سل طلب تر بودیم شاید اخلاق گراتر بودیم اگه همین بهایی ها به قدرت رسیده بودن شاید اینا هم تفتیش عقاید را انداخته بودن مگه خمینی نبود تا وقتی تو پاریس بود شعار آزادی و دموکراسی میداد اومد تو ایران همه ایران رو کرد زنده مثلا مگه خود مسیح نبود از مهربانی حرف میزد ولی تو قرون وستا کلیسا ها چی کار کردن با مردم همینجور تفتیش عقاید را انداختن بعدش هم آزادی، سرخ، مهربانی اینا چه ربطی به مذهب داره اینا به همش به سواد فرهنگ مرد بود ممکنه پایی هاشتا قبلا گذاشتن در اینکه جنگ کنن دیگه این همه چیزای مذهبه تو از بس تاثیرات بد مذهب و دیدی کم کم قدرت مذهب هم ندیده گرفتی نتیجهش اینه که فکر میکنی اگه آتیش یه نفر رو سوزون اصلا در چای نفت رو باید بس بعد هم همجور که تو برنامه ها تو نو به نو میکنی تا یه دوربین جدید میاد فکر میکنی باید آپدیت بشی خب مذهب هم باید آپدیت میشده دیگه تو داری تمام قدرت مذهب رو ندیده میگیری در حالی که خودت داری اثباتش میکنی مذهب این قدرت رو داشته که دنیا رو به ویرانی بکشی خب چرا به سل نکشونه ببین یه کاری کردی گله رو له کردم الان باید از این گل معذرت خواست مگه حالا اینایی که توی دنیا دین ندارن مشکلی دارن کجا دیدیم تا الان این دین اونایی که دین ندارن بیشتر با هم دعوا میکنن یا اونایی که دین دارن هر جای دنیا مینیم یا یه ورش مسلمانان یا یه ورش مسیحیان و یه ورش جویشان در حال جنگ هن. یا همین وقتی جنگ هم نمیکنن استرس اینه که نکنه این دو سه گروه با هم دیگه حالا گیر بدن نه این دو سه گروه همه مذاهب با هم دیگه به جنگ هن. یاد من که فکر نمیکنم نیاز داشته باشه آدم و مذهب توی دنیای مدرن حتی اقل نه. From a young age, I couldn't understand why God would be competing with himself. It didn't make sense. And I, I searched and I searched, and at a certain point, I said, I'm not going to go to church anymore. And my mom said, that's okay, but you have to go somewhere on Sunday. So I said, okay. So I went and my dad took me, and we went to different churches, two years over here, a few years over there. And there was beautiful people everywhere. few years over there and there was beautiful people everywhere but eventually I kind of kind of gave up and then in university a good friend of mine um, she was also very much you know touched by the love of God um, but she was from a Muslim family and so the two of us would talk and all we could see was that this is one thing and we couldn't understand how it could be 
two different things. And so we kind of decided between us that if you figure it out, you tell me. And if I figure this out, I'll tell you. And she found the faith and became a Baha'i. And then she told me about it. And I, I was little. I wasn't sure. She gave me a prayer book and I took it home. And I sat down and I opened it. And immediately when I read it, it was the words of God. And I was scared. I didn't know what that meant for my rest of my life. So then after that, I studied the Baha'i faith and I learned more. And then I told my parents and they were really happy for me. In fact, they gave me a flower and they said, I hope that your faith grows like this flower. <laughs> One way to express it for me is to describe my name. So my name, Shireya, comes from a proverb in my dad's language, in Ochiherero. And it, it talks about the dawn of a new day and the promise of a new day. And I was named with that intention, like with the hope that a new day would dawn, that a new day actually had begun, that the dawn had arrived of a new day. And the Baha'i faith is that promise. Um, it's the day when the color of our skin will no longer determine your value or your gender will be considered a gift to humanity and where um, peace and safety or prosperity are possible and they're not defined in terms that provide some with and others don't have. Um, I think my parents named me, well, from what I understand. My mother's from the United States. She's an African-American. And on her side, we are the descendants of slaves. And my father's from Namibia. And on his side, we are the descendants of people that were colonized and oppressed. But I think, through, and both of my parents, um, they met because both of them were, were struggling for social justice and were searching for something that would um, speak to the, the nobility and the dignity of each individual soul and that would empower the masses to be able to advance. And for my mom, she found it as a teenager and it was this faith. And for my dad, when he met her, he was introduced to it as well and I think It's the Baha'i faith for me is, is hope mm, actualized. Like it's, it's not just a pious hope and it's not just a um, belief in, in my heart, but it, it shows up in the world. This is the day of the unification of humankind and I think the Baha'i faith is, is the way that'll happen.
من متقاعد شدم که منبع اصلی نفرت در جهان دینهای سازمان یافته است. القاعده چی کار کرد؟ دین رو کرد موتور تروریزم. طالبان چی کار کرد؟ بچه ها رو برد توی مدارس دینی تربیت کرد تا به خودشون بمب ببندن و عملیات انتحاری انجام بدن. بابا به من چیزی گفتی؟ نه با خودم اگه دین میتونه بچه های معصوم رو طوری تربیت کنه که برای مردن و کشتن آماده بشن پس یعنی دین یه قدرتی داره چرا قدرت دین رو برای صلح و دوستی به کار نمیبرن؟ برای مبارزه با خشونت از هوا بم ریختن بیفایده است بابا خوابی بابا خوابی باغبونت این کن آه باغبونم هم خوابیده بود کو باغبونم ببینیت هم که گذاشتید لبین آگه
بهاءالله در ایران به زندان رفت از ایران به تبعید رفت در تبعید به زندان رفت طوری که بیشتر عمر خود و خانوادهش در تبعید و زندان گذاشت در زندان یکی از پسرانش را از دست داد و وقتی بعد از سالها از زندان عکا بیرون آمد به ادوارد بران ایران شناس و مستشرق مشهور که به دیدار او آمده بود گفت خوش آمدید به دیدار مسجون و محجور که جز اصلاح عالم مقصدی ندارد اما با او چون مغصرین و گنهکاران رفتار می شود from a home of 10 children and of those 10 children now we are four six plus the parents were killed in the genocide in Rwanda understanding the root cause of this carnage allowed me to go beyond what happened to understand and in fact it is not because they are from a different ethnic group but, but it was mostly ignorance hatred what Baha'is are telling us which is really to understand that we are one that all the differences, like these flowers, that they're not fighting, rather they're together, and together the differences that they have enhance their own beauty. We have to understand, okay, like this garden here, we have to cultivate virtue, tolerance, and patience. And then with time, the whole world, surely we become what we see here. I can ask myself, without religion, would I have been able to overcome hatred? After all, when I think of it, the ideology of um, genocide in Rwanda, in Germany, in many other places, it didn't come from uneducated people. It came from educated people who promoted the ideas of division. Germany, it is still a very educated country. And yet, those ideas of superiority and inferiority was mostly among those educated who spread them among the mass of people. I believe religion addresses who unleash forces of the heart in a way that science cannot, because science addresses the reason, and yet the human needs the heart and the reason. <sighs> Timru sami pe nai meru avila sa ho Timru karu da nai meru saati ho Ma parti ko timru karu da nai Es lokara par lok du I think the relationship with God is one of the most profound at some points, I feel like I know him and I feel him and I can describe him and I, and I can connect to him. And at other times, it's, it's the most far off thought from my mind. I can't contain it. I can't um, express it and so on. But for me, through prayer, I feel like I, I draw closer to 
whatever it is, and it's this, this feeling of, of feeling loved, of feeling per like a, my, my life has a purpose, of feeling connected to others. It's really, it's really quite powerful. And my sense of God is my sense of awe. It's when I look at the world and I look at the creation, I look at the ocean and the mountains and the seas, I look at every different species, I look at the diversity in the human realm, and I think there must be a creator. There must be someone who has created all of this or something. I think when I, when I pray, when I read the prayers of Baha'u'llah or the Bab, or even in my own quiet moments when I'm just saying, Lord, have mercy on me. Or when I'm saying, dear God, guide me or thank you, God. Um, that's my sense of God. It's also my sense of connection to other people. I, I see God in, in other people. I see something that's, that's really, it, it's, I, I don't have words to describe it, but it's this, this very strong sense of belonging. It's Have you seen my father? Yes, I've seen your father gardening over there. Thank you. You're most welcome. چی کار دارید میکنی؟ دارید فیلم مذهبی میسازی؟ شما مایید از حقوق بشر حرف بزنی؟ بگید انسان حق دارن دینشون رو انتخاب کنن حق دارن دینشون رو عوض کنن این فیلم حقوق بشر نیست این فیلم تبلیغاتیه بابا کات کات جدی دارم بهتون میگم عدیان از صور شروع میکنن به خشونت میکشن از آزادی زنان شروع میکنن به اصارت زنان میکشن از اخلاق میگن استبداد را میندازن با شما دارید تکنولوژی در خدمت خرافات میگیرین کات منم کات بابا تو هم داری از تکنولوژی دین جدید میسازی داری از استیو جاب یا حضرت موسا یا حضرت ایسا یا حضرت محمد میسازی تکنولوژی نبود بمب اتم و ساخ هیروشیما رو نابود کرد همین تکنولوژی نیست داره محیط زیست و عبین میبره شما جوان ها صبر ندارین با من اینجوری نیستم شما تا این فیلم رو میسازید من میرم شهر ما نیست اونجا بعد من فیلم تبلیغاتی نمیسازم من دارم راجع به یک دین تحقیق میکنم یه دینی که تو ایران یه عالم آدم براش کشته شدن هنوز یه عالم آدم تو زندانن هیچ وقت خشونت نکردن من میخوام ببینم این دین چجوری تونسته یه مش مردم رو صبور بار بیاره سل طلب بار بیاره که وقتی باشون حرف میزنی میگن اگه اوضاع هم عوض شه خوشونت نمی کنی. من میخوام ببینم چرا بعضی دینا خوشونت میارن بعضی دینا خوشونت نمیارن سهم دین تو آوردن خوشونت به این دنیا چیه؟ اینجا شهر و شدیمه بیت المقدس مرکز سه دین مهم جهان اسلام مسیحیت یهودیت از 
اصلا دین چیه؟ یه روی جمعی، یه مش آدا و رسوم، یه مش آکساسوها مثلا تسبیح همه ادیان از تسبیح خوشش میگن معمولا در کنار همه این مرکز مذهبی یه بازار سنتی هم وجود داره توی ایران هم بازار شابدالعظیم همین شکلی برای فروش تمثال آدم های مقدس عکس فرشته نور رامراندی اینا سربازای اسرائیلی هست از اینجا حضرت مسیح به آسمون رفت روی این سنگ قوس داده شد این هم لباسه شون رو متبرک میکنه تو ایران هم همین کار میکنن با زریع و امامزاده اونا همونقدر به حضرت محمد ایمان دارن که اینا به حضرت مسیح آواز دست جمعی به من احساس مذهبی میده و همیشه باید خودم رو کنترل کنم که موسیقی من رو فرید نده میدینیم معماری تو همه مذاهب شبیه همه سخفای بلند و اینکه آدم توی فضای بزرگ احساس حقارت بکنه استفاده از نور زرد شم نور تاریک و روشن صداها و بوهای از یه پری تا آدم از نور واقعی خارج بشه و دوچار وحن متفیزیک بشه بیش از یه میلیون ساله که بشر تو کره زمین زندگی میکنه بچه را دو سه هزار ساله همش خدا به فکر دین درست کردن افتاده یه میلیون سال خدا ساکت نشسته بوده تو این دو سه هزار سال آخر یهو تصمیم گرفته دو سه تا دین بزرگ دنیا رو اونم تو فاصله دو سه تا کوچه از همدیگه درست کنه اینجا مرکز مسیحیت بود به فاصله یک کوچه کمتر از یک دقیقه راه رفتن میرسی به مرکز اسلام و یهودیت اینجا مسجد الاخصاص قبله اول مسلمان های جهان 
جایی که حضرت محمد به آسمون رفت نه یه محل اون طرف در نه حتی یه کوچه اون طرف در درست چسبیده به مسجد الاخصا دیوار ندبت اینا این پایین مهمترین مرکز یهودی های جهان آخه مگه تو هستی جا کم بوده که خدا مرکز دو تا دین بزرگ رو به فاصله یه ساختمون درست کرده یعنی خدا نمیدونسته مومنینش همسایه خوبی برای هم دیگه نیستن باید از این کلاه ها سرم بذارم تا بتونم وارد مکان دیوار ندبه بشم مسلمان میگن اینجا مال ماست چون پیامبر ما از اینجا به مراج رفته کلیمی ها میگن اینجا مال ماست چون دیوار نود به اینجا راستی اگه یه وقتی هم بون بهتون بسازه بزنه به دیوار ندوه تکلیف مسجد الاخصا چی میشه؟ Say, I have heard you have some argument with your son. Do you know, sir? I think your son is a very good person. How can you tell? By watching the reactions of the flowers when he passes by. By reaction of the flowers? Like this. What do you mean? Okay, tell me how flowers can do reaction to introduce characteristic of the people. Well, the flowers, some of the flowers, it can represent the soul of the human being. Like this. The flowers say all the human beings were created noble.
Yare yanua pepe te sora pai. Yare yanua vovo sa sora rama. Papa i sora ere. Tai we puni pai na osomare. Na o we oro na e manare. Come here, I'll show you something. You know, the human heart is like a mirror. Sometimes it covers with dust. So we have to make every effort to clean out the dust from the mirror so that it shows the beauty and the light.
Hi, have you seen my father? Yes, your father is gardening over there. Thank you. Baba! 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 بابا بهایی شدی؟ نه پس چی؟ مسیحی هم مسلمون هم بودایی هم حلیمی هم زرتشتی هم بیدین هم همه اینا دو بینتون که بابا کاشتمش گل بده بزی یه خور بهش آب بدم خوبی بابا نیستی شما خوبی خیلی دو بینه خیز کردیم Okay.